In this circuit, a sinusoidal source with a value of 120 volts RMS is feeding a circuit with the impedances shown. We are to compute the currents I1, IM, and I2 prime. In reality, this circuit represents one of the three phases of an induction motor. But right now, it's just an excuse for us to utilize a calculator to solve a complex numbers equation. I show the circuit like this. I choose a reference node and declare this be my node 1 with an unknown voltage V1, which is a phasor. It is a complex number representing a sinusoidal voltage V1 there. We write a KCL equation for that node. Currents going in, 120 minus V1 divided by this impedance. And that is equal to the current leaving the node, this one I am, which is V1 divided by this impedance, plus this current I2 prime, which is V1 divided by the impedance of the right hand side branch. From there, I solve for V1. The right-hand side term will be just 120 divided by that impedance. And then I factor out all of those terms after I have moved this V1 to the right-hand side. Does this coefficient? Plus this coefficient. Now all we need to do is compute this expression of complex numbers to find what is the phase of V1 that represents the sinusoidal voltage between this node and the reference one. For that, we utilize the calculator. First, the numerator. 120. Enter. 0.1.4 round parenthesis 0.1 space 0.4 divide divide that complex number is the numerator of our expression it is in polar forms because that is the setting of our calculator now the denominator 0.1.4 inverted round parenthesis 0.1 space 0.4 inverse now this term 0 0.25 inverted round parenthesis 0 space 25 inverted add them together add them together third term 2.52.2 round parenthesis 2.52 space 0.2 inverse and add with the two other terms. This is the denominator. Divide numerator by denominator. That is the voltage V1. 111.3. 111.3. 0 .3 volts with an angle of negative 8, 0, 3 degrees. That is V1. That is the voltage there. Now, to find each one of the currents I1, I am an I2 prime. I have them here. This is I1. This is I am. And this is I2 prime. And now that I know already what is V1, I just substitute them in these expressions to obtain I1, I am, and I2 prime. But because we are exercising with the calculator, let's do the computations. The first thing I'm going to do is store this value in a variable I will call V1. Apostrophe alpha V1. Enter store. Where is it? In variables. You see it's right there. It's been stored. Now with that value, I can compute each one of those three expressions. 120 V1 subtract divide by 0.1.4 
round parenthesis, 0.1 space, 0.4, divide. That is the current I1. Who is I M? V1 divided by 0 0.25. V1, round parenthesis, 0 space, 25, divide. That is the current I M, 4.45 amps with a phase of negative 98 degrees. Who is I2 prime? I2 prime is this one. V1 divided by 252.2. V1, round parenthesis, 252 space 0.2, divide. That is I2 prime, 44 amps with negative 12.6 degrees. Let's write them down. Those are the three currents that we have computed. Let's say we do not want to stop there. Let's say we want to compute the power that is delivered to that circuit at this port. What is that power? That is this voltage multiplied by the complex conjugate of this current. Power at the input port complex power is 120 multiplied by the complex conjugate of I1. I want to use that value, but I don't want to delete it. What do I do? With the up arrow, I go there, and then I pick that value. You see, so I get a copy of that at the bottom of my screen. Enter. So I have my cake, and I eat it too. That is a copy of I1, ready for me to use. Well, I need to find the complex conjugate. Math. Next. Complex numbers. Next. Conjugate. Well, that conjugate is to be multiplied by 120. 120 multiplied. And then I convert that to rectangular mode. And I have P and Q. 5,080 watts with 1,678 bars. That is input complex power. 5,000 watts and 1,700 bars. Active power, reactive power. Thank you very much.